Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching episode two of season four of The Expanse. I am excited, um, mostly because I've had uh, quite a break from watching things. Uh, I took a, about two weeks off. I, I did a lot of viewing and then I did no viewing. Over Thanksgiving, I got to have a nice long vacation. Uh, it was nice. I enjoyed it. I got to see family. But in the time that I took off, <laughs> because I am on 4-2, my boss is on 5-5. Five five, and he's like frothing at the mouth, wanting to talk to me about episodes. And I love that. <laughs> we got another addict. <laughs> and I don't blame him because it's amazing. And and I, I was very, actually very excited because uh, I was actually able to sit down with my dad and talk to him a little bit. And I was like, so you watch The Expanse, right? And he's like, I saw it when it came out. I'm like, oh, good for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm jealous that people got to watch it that way, but at the same time, I get to binge watch it and I get to watch it kind of like if I get excited and I just want to watch the next episode, I can. <laughs> you guys don't have that option. Uh, you didn't have that option. And, and maybe in the future, we will have that option. I'm just going to keep putting it out there that they need to make more seasons after the last season that they made. We're, we're just gonna keep putting it out there. We're gonna manifest to this thing, it's gonna happen. Anyway, last episode, we're on Ellis. The refugees uh, from the Barba Piccola, Piccola, Bar 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 Barba Piccola, Piccola, you know what? Behemoth, behemoth, whatever, Robert. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna say them however I wanna say them. It, sometimes it's going to be right. Sometimes it's going to be wrong. It depends on the day. Okay, Sasuke? I don't even know if I said that right. Who cares? Anyway, <laughs> they made a base camp and um, some belters on other systems didn't make it at all when they were landing on these other planets. And then some actually had to leave the planets they were on and go back up into orbit because their bodies just couldn't take it. And I don't know if that means that Ellis is different. Is it more hospitable to Belters? Um, besides the, like the Razor Locust that's like flying around, breaking down ships. Um, it, it, it definitely took down a, a, a drop ship from the uh, Edward Israel. And that one guy, <laughs> Murdy, who he doesn't look like he'd be nice. Um, he, he seems... He seems angry. He seems mean. Uh, chip on his shoulder. He did lose people. Um, but uh, he, he, um, he's, he, he doesn't seem fun. <laughs> and especially uh, he's like the chief of security. And so it really makes sense that he, he's, I feel like he's going to try to run things. It seemed like when everybody was together, there was the belters and there was the the people from the the Edward Israel that like were not getting along very well. And I personally thought that the Belters had shot down the Edward Israel ship until we saw the little Razor Locust thing, you know. So I don't know if like that kind of confirmed that it wasn't the Belters and that like maybe they'll get along now. I doubt it. Um, but he does not seem like there's like the whole scene where he's holding onto the bars and he was just like looking down and. The look on his face and the lighting and everything was just kind of like, oh, he, he's not a good guy. At least I don't think he's a good guy. He didn't come off as a good guy. And um, I didn't think that Ashford was a good guy until I got to know him. And then I was like, wow, <laughs> I really like Ashford. But I, I feel like I get the vibe that like Murdy is not okay. No, I hate saying that stuff with like mild conviction. I mean, but I don't even have any convictions. I don't think he's a good guy. He doesn't strike me as a good guy. He's not that guy. <laughs> and and it seemed like the Belters weren't being very hostile either. And and like they offered them aid, like after the crash landing, like they were taking care of them. And then when Holden arrived, all hell broke loose. Um, he was told by Christian to evacuate the Belters if the proto molecule like became an issue, um, and and all hell breaks loose. And um, I'm sure the proto molecule will 100% be an issue, <laughs> along with all the other shit that's going on. Like it's always like 
that minor character in the background until it is completely forefront. And Naomi, new hair, new bone density, um, she walks on a planet for the first time and holy shit, Clinton Shorter's score during the the landing sequence and like the 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 coming off the Rasanate and then going to the base camp. It was beautiful. It was amazing. It probably got a copyright. Like Xander has to do so much battle with Clinton Shorter and like his scores are amazing, but damn, does it make it hard to do a reaction. <laughs> Xander, you a real one, dude. Thank you for all that you put in and the work that you do, but Clinton, Clinton makes it hard for you, man. And I'm sure Naomi's still going to have several issues now that she's on Ellis, but, you know, like watching her see the horizon for the first time and, and her losing balance because of it, like, you know, that, that kind of just shows that like, there's a chink in her armor, like she's not perfect, but like Holden kind of holding Amos back and just being like, let her experience it. Like, let her, let her have this moment. I thought it was just wonderful. And like, obviously, like I was crying, you know, so it was like really beautiful to just watch her experience that for the first time. It's like Bobby in the ocean. Like, I love watching people experience something for the first time. Kind of like reactors reacting to the expanse. Full circle moment there. Okay. <laughs> And Holden, on the other hand, like, like Naomi was going through like all of the preparedness of like having to be on the planet with the bone density and, and, and getting accustomed to gravity and, and working on her strength. But then you saw like Holden doing the anti-cancer thing. And that was the first time that we had seen that since season two. So I was kind of like, why did they show that? Hmm. And then immediately after they go through the ring and then there's Miller. <laughs> Insert wild theory banner here like da 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 angela's wild theories angela's wild theories on the expanse i don't know i'm, I'm making it up as i go along but <laughs> i was just thinking to myself if he traveled for eight months to get to ellis anti-cancer there's there, there's miller right like can cancer fight the proto molecule or is the proto-molecule a cure for... No, they already have a cancer cure. Is the proto-molecule afraid of cancer cells? I don't know. Did that keep Miller at bay? Like, was his cancer getting worse for eight months? And then like, oh, hey, Miller. It's most likely because he went through the gate. So like, my my theory like is is not very sound and I already see the flaws in it. But I was like, hmm, interesting. And we also saw like Miller like repeating himself a lot, like outside of the campfire. And I, I'm, I'm, it's not lost on me that it's killing the investigator and then bringing the investigator back to life. And so it's like, he says like, you know, like we got to get those clues. We got to go to the ring. And then he kind of has a conversation and he shares like a personal, like Miller memory of like, like, I wonder what that rain tastes like. And then the investigator dies and he comes back and he's like, hey, we got to get those clues. We got to go to the ring. And, you know, Holden tells him, like, you know, I've been trying. And then, you know, he resets again and he says it again. And then finally Holden's like, OK, Miller, we're going to go to the ring. And it's kind of like the proto molecule will just like keep doing that until it gets the answer that it wants. It'll keep trying to, like, lure Holden in. And it kind of almost did it in reverse to where it like lured him in perfectly fine. And then like Holden's like talking to Miller as though they're friends again. And then it resets and he kind of loses that illusion of a friendly Miller and realizes that it's the proto molecule again. Um, it kind of made me a little sad because you could kind of just see like his demeanor change a little bit. Just kind of like a little interesting note. I don't think it has really anything to do with the story, but I, I just kind of noticed it. Alex and Bobby are besties, um, you know, kind of communicating as the Rossi's going by Mars. And Bobby isn't a Marine anymore, you know, she's 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 out. And I don't know what that means for her or her future. Um, she when she's talking to Michael in the bar, she kind of is talking to him about the station and, and it doesn't really give him details about what happened. And quite frankly, I don't think she should be sharing a lot of that anyway. But like she kind of just tells him like, 
these people were messing with things that they don't understand. So keep your uniform handy. You're going to need it. There's probably going to be another war. She's of very sound mind. Like she's a very good thinker. Like she doesn't let a lot of emotions get in the way. That doesn't mean she doesn't have them. She's not like Amos where it's just like he's kind of like an autopilot. But like she manages her emotions very well. And I thought it was really interesting that we had a scene with her nephew David and his like gal pal study buddy, Lily. And, you know, like Lily seemed very, uh, I don't want to say excited to talk to Bobby, but was just like, oh, the famous Aunt Bobby. And I'm like, another theory moment. But like, I was like, is this like a new Diogo situation? Like, is this like, like teen Mars kids like like kind of going on like their own like little like rebellion you know or like like are they are they they getting radicalized somehow because you know bobby's known for what she did not only on earth and 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 helping christian but then like also like what happened at the station and and you know she's she's leaving on the rasanate she's not leaving on a mars ship so like She's almost kind of known as like this rebel or like this person that like went against Mars. I don't know if that's inciting like a little bit of a radicalized nephew. I don't know. I hope that it's not another Diogo situation because we just got rid of that little shit. We don't need another one. Okay. <laughs> Sasaki. Hopefully I'm using that right. Jesus. I don't even know. I don't even know. Just, <laughs> just fast forward to the reaction. I'm kidding. Don't. My God. I have much more to say. I have some more things to say. <laughs> uh, drummer is in charge of the Medina station, formerly the behemoth, and formerly the Nabu, which, um, I, I, do the Mormons just like let that go? Is it like legitimate salvage? I don't know. One of those random questions that I don't think it makes or breaks whether or not I enjoy the show, but it's just like one of those things I was like, wait, are they upset about that? Do you get like these like <laughs> revenge seeking Mormons? I feel like that's like, I don't know one Mormon that I know that seeks revenge, but like, 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 would that be a new thing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, But she's still healing, but she's very much still our little spice packet that we know and love. And Ashford is fighting pirates. So he's kind of fighting what he used to be. But now he's doing it for the inners. Um, like there's a lot of freighters and a lot of refugee ships that are being, you know, uh, boarded by these pirates and they're being looted. And he's there to stop this from happening. Um, but he's kind of struggling with it. Like you, you can see that he's not happy. He probably feels like he's a tool for the inners. Um, and, and like it's part of the treaty, but he also doesn't like it. And I'm not sure if that's going to be uh, an issue in the future. I'm sure. Um, and, and Drummer is kind of securing the ring for the inners. Um, and I also know that she's not thrilled. She's not really thrilled about doing anything for the inners or being like the inners. You know, she has a conversation with Naomi because Naomi's doing everything that she can so she can, you know, be on Illis and, and, and not be incredibly sick and feel like she's gonna like, just like, like, like we saw what happens to Belters when they, uh, face gravity, like. Christian, you know, <laughs> like that first episode and what she was doing to that belter, I didn't forget it. Um, that looked horrible. So when she kind of learns that Naomi's going through all of this so she can go to Ellis and she can walk on Ellis and she can be with the rest of the belters on Ellis, you know, she kind of has a problem with that. She's like, belters are meant to be in space. And, and she's really worried about the future generations of belters and how they're going to become more like inners. And we have already seen from previous seasons that she doesn't want to be the inners. She still wants to be very different and very separate from them, um, which is not really the best way to integrate. So there isn't conflict, but also she doesn't want to integrate. So there's kind of an impasse there. Now, Christian, I think, is killing it as secretary general, <laughs> mostly because she's a boss ass bitch and she sets people straight. Um, which she, she definitely does to Gao uh, right in the beginning. Gao is very much telling her like, hey, we have all these people on Earth. We could give them jobs. You know, we could send them, you know, to the ring. 
we could have them go to all these systems, you know, they're, they're, they could start new lives or they could, you know, there's the, like, especially on Illus, like, because there's lithium that they could mine there. Um, and it, it is like a gold rush again, you know, it's like people trying to get resources from these other systems, which they 100% need, especially after the fall of Ganymede, um, which I don't know, like where they're going to put crops on Illus if they can do that. I don't know if it's a good place to grow things, but you know, a lot of problems could be solved by going there. And I'm a true believer in Christian and that she always has the best interest of earth at heart. And there's a reason why she's reserved about doing that and going there. And I'm sure it has plenty to do with there being the proto molecule thing that's on Illus and, and what that could possibly mean for the planet because she's worried. She's, she's worried if it could be another Eros, you know, she, she doesn't want that for the people of earth. And, and she certainly doesn't, I mean, so, so send Holden, you know, I mean, like our crew happens to be, you know, very, uh, well versed in proto molecules. So they're the best people to go, but I also get her reservation, but at the same time, I'm irritated by it because I also believe that like these other systems could provide people with better lives instead of just living on assistance all the time. <laughs> like my notes, all I put was Amos having a conversation with Clarissa. Look. He wanted to kill her. He had no problem pointing a gun at her, ready to go, wanted to waste her. She wanted to kill somebody he knows and trusts. And I would dare say love. I feel like there's love there for Holden. Like that's his brother, right? Um, the fact that he then spent eight months on the Rosinante in the workshop with Clarissa, who knows what happened in that eight months. Um, he doesn't strike me as somebody who forgives easily. Um, but eight months went by in which they got to know each other, possibly. Um, or he saw a different side of her enough to give her a goddamn nickname. Okay. So I don't like it at all. I don't like the nickname because I don't trust her. And I, I will blame a little bit of the condensedness of the end of season three, that they didn't give her the characterization maybe that we needed to have any sympathy for her because I do not have any sympathy for her. You can go back and watch all of my Obi-Wan reactions and how angry I started getting about the character Reva not having any characterization and that her only goal was to seek revenge. That is a flat character. And that's what I didn't like about Clarissa slash Melba is that it just seemed like she was just fueled by daddy issues and revenge. Um, I didn't like that at all. And I felt like maybe it would have done a little bit more justice to have her character have a little bit more of scope maybe in the season. And I'm not shitting on it because the writing's amazing, right? Um, I just think that like, because of that condensedness, we didn't get that. <clears throat> I don't want to like her. She wanted to kill Holden. She thought that her dad, Jules Pierre Mao was like this, guy she needed to impress and and somehow win favor and be better than her sister julie who was a fantastic human being as far as i'm concerned um and i'm not idealizing julie like she had flaws but like her mind and her heart i feel was in the right place um so like when it comes to clarissa peaches i am going to believe that amos can see her true colors and that she has character that maybe I don't know yet. She's not going to win me over easily. And because people have said, I, I know she's around throughout the rest of the season or seasons, I'm not quite sure, but they're just like, oh, you're going to love Clarissa. I don't see how. So, <laughs> I'm going to fight it tooth and nail. Um, but the fact that Amos sees a different side of her, gave her a nickname, and wants her to do well in jail, which is a weird thing to say. Um, we'll see.
TBD. I don't know. I might not ever like her. I don't particularly think the actress does a good job either, but I believe in the writers of this show very much. Oh. <laughs> Again, all I wrote down was Amos has a conversation with Clarissa. I couldn't even write down my thoughts and feelings. I had to go straight from my gut about how I felt about that, which is... <laughs> okay. I always look for the good in people. I always do. And I want to. That's one of my, like, fatal flaws in life, is that I always want to believe people are innately good and they have good in them. So I will give her a chance. Anyway. <laughs> okay. With that being said, super excited to get back to Ellis. I want to find out what's up with the little razor locust. Um, uh, like catch up with Drummer in Ashford in space because this is a space show. So I don't always want to be on a planet, but again, I, I'm a big fan of Star Trek. So exploration, that's my jam. I love learning about new places and new things and more proto molecule to be. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into it. <laughs> before I go on an even longer rant about Carissa. And I just want to point out that my shirt also says Miller. <laughs> no shed. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You didn't make the shirt. <laughs> okay. Oh. So what we got here? Yeah, what do we got here? Yeah, this is from Holden's other version. What does that mean? Go back through the sensor log, see if you can trace where those things came from. We'll put every scope that's on the Israel down on this location. Watching him. Maybe these are the things that brought down your shuttle. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. That must be it. I'll go check out the crash site. Amos, go with him. Alex, yeah. you can help me injured. I'll join you. Stay here. Keep an eye on things. I'll be fine. Yeah, I, I would want Amos to go with him, too. Not that I don't trust him. He just strikes me as not good. So it's a machine. Well, that's very terrestrial thinking. Oh, is it? Life on Earth developed using potassium, carbon, and calcium. But it could just as easily have been arsenic, silicon, and iron. To us, this looks like a machine, but on this planet, it could be an organism. <laughs> Yikes. If it's active... Yeah, we should test everyone for infection. Wait, and he was touching it, and everyone got cut. guess where it came from? Mmm, the thingies. Mmm. Tripoli, the ring blockade. Tripoli. That's easy for me to say. Oh my god! Did they just get baked? It appears they came from the Sojourner, a prospective UN colony ship at the blockade for nearly 13 weeks waiting for permission to transit the rings. Regional flight control lost track of it a month ago. Why are they sitting there for 13 weeks? There's no gain in this. No. It sends a message that the peace cannot change a century of anger overnight. And that there are mm. belters who still know how to hate. If there is active protomolecule on New Terra, it's going to scare people. Maybe that's not so bad. It'll support your position that going through the rings is too dangerous. Yeah, it sure will. Sometimes I fucking hate being right. No, you don't. It's no, you don't, girl. I love when she's right. You're very good in those boots, ma'am. Oh, she's in space. I had a good teacher. Ha! Huh. Yeah, you did. I have ten. Pick this up later. <laughs> Arjun, that's not her husband. Oh, I think somebody told me he got recast. I wouldn't have missed it. I liked her other husband.
Is that like Air Force One? I like the things you see better than the ones I do. I bet. She sees a lot of shit. He sees a lot of beauty. So Christian's going to Mars. Wow. What? Oh, hey! Yeah! Oh my god, her buddy's there! Hey, girl. <laughs> Wanna get a drink? Requested. Accept it. Just put it away? Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew something wasn't right with Lily. This is Maricopa Valley Police Action. All individuals in the vicinity may be detained or searched. Remain in place until you receive further instructions. No, the stupid truth pills. Demolition Tech Third Class Roberta W. Draper. I prefer Bobby. Formerly gunnery sergeant Roberta Draper of the Martian Marine Corps. Before that, I was seen to run my basketball team. Dishonorably discharged <laughs> for repeated acts of insubordination. No, they moved me to power forward. <laughs> I think she's hilarious. Customs Inspector First Class Richard Sanju. I'm bad at guessing games. He was found in a cargo container this morning with his neck snapped. Uh, Jesus, is that uh -oh. what this is all about? Your file says you were directly involved in the deaths of two members of your Marine fire team. Hmm. I didn't. I assume they train your special forces types to resist augmented interrogation. Yeah, and they also trained me to snap necks. But I haven't done either of those things since coming home. Since coming home. <laughs> Is Mars still home? Where else would she call home? Having dinner with the UN Secretary General is quite an honor for a Martian dock worker. On Mars. You seem very fond of Earthers. For a Martian, I mean. <laughs> Fuck you! Everything I've ever done has been for Mars. I came back here to willingly face a court-martial for Mars. I scrapped those bloody ships every day for Mars! You can go. Fuck yeah, Bobby. Fuck yeah. Did she take the other lady's thing? Hand terminal? Because the invitation was on the other one. I lost a lot of family on Ganymede. Oh. This has to work. This place. We have nowhere else to go. I'm liking Alex in regular clothes. <laughs> it's very attractive that way. I mean, he was fine before, but something about that hat. Oh, God. God damn. How did anyone live through this? <laughs> very sensitive, Amos. I don't see any of those bugs. Hey, Murdy. What is that? It's like a blasting cap to you. It's Murtry. Yes. Murtry. I thought it was Murdy too. You guys didn't have the main drive on when you came down, did you? No, we did not. Why I think is someone he blew up his bed. Stick up his ass. Settlers have anything to say about it? They've been here longer than any of us. Only that there was no lithium here and they never found a way in. You know how belters are. If they can't use it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, you've got us totally figured out. <laughs> Let me take you back. I'm fine. I just got here. It's no shame in easing into it. I'm getting used to the horizon and open spaces. If it wasn't for, you know, this might even be fun. <laughs> Love it. I mean, obviously there's a way in and Holden's probably going to discover that. It's like Miller's going to tell him how, I'm sure. It's like flipping switches. I think that's what Miller was saying. So there's got to be a switch somewhere that they have to flip. Radioisotope dating puts this structure at approximately 1.5 billion years old. Hmm. This structure 
predates multicellular life on this planet. It's been here since the only living things were bacteria, analogs, and whatever fills viral niches. Protomolecule hijacks organic life and uses it for its own purposes. Three biomes, then. Three? Whatever made the protomolecule. The local biosphere mm. are now us. That's a lot of interacting systems. There's no way to tell how they're mixed. That was my worry. Anything? No. Damn it, Miller. I have no idea. Miller. She feels dead. Oh. Veranya, we not know about the bug before they killed I shot in the head. Yeah? Shame. One day I see a lizard here eat a thing two times its own size, but it's up your own stomach. Okay. <laughs> what, you don't have an autoclave? Used to. Brought it down from the bob, but a week later it died. Well, you know, I'd probably get Amos to come help you out with that. Yeah. I think I'm gonna hang out here for a spell, you know, make sure I, we didn't miss anybody. Copy that. <clears throat> hang with the doctor a little while longer, hmm? So, I heard a little rumor that uh, there's a saloon around here. Not much of one. Mm. They serve pretty much the same thing I've been sterilizing the scalpels with. But personally, I don't drink for taste. <laughs> Looks like we got two new customers. This is Jacob, my husband, and our daughter, Oh, Dacia. well, damn. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Same. Thought she was a single lady. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been a long, rough day, and you guys need some family time together, right? All right, I'll see you soon. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Alex visits an alien planet and has to check out for a drink. Why not? Where did you get this? Mm. At the pad. You people blew up that pad deliberately. That's what took down our shuttle. You killed a lot of my people. Get the word out, and you have until morning to give me the people that planted the bomb. Or else we what? will not be intimidated. Either they pay for this, or you all will. Yeah, I don't like him. What you thinking, Amos? Your friend left. Who, Marty? It's not my friend. We just received this from New York. Hmm. Mm. Wonder why. I mean, obviously because Christian doesn't want anyone from Earth to go to the rings. I have an invitation. You've been flagged for additional screening. I'll handle this. She's a personal guest of the Secretary General. <laughs> this way. I don't know why I thought Bobby would wear a dress. I guess she's wearing a skirt? What is she wearing? She needs one of those Christian outfits. Hi, I'm Bobby. Aww. Aww. Sergeant Draper. Bobby. Does she know Do who I... he is? No. Arjun Avasarala, at your service. I have wanted to meet you for such a long Aww. time. Thank you in person for saving my Christian's life. You're hmm. welcome, sir. Respectfully, if you married Christian, you're a hell of a lot braver than I ever was. <laughs> <laughs> my dear friend, Admiral Michael Sauter, once said, the war does not end when people put down their guns. It ends when they reconcile, for they are the best of us and our only hope for a lasting and permanent peace. Hmm. That does not sit easy with Bobby at all. Probably because she thinks another war is coming. Medina Station continues to exist only by the goodwill of Earth and Mars and our fleets. Belters would do well to remember that. Easy there. <laughs> not the right people to say that to. How convenient that it was a belter ship, though. So, first day on a planet. <laughs> How was it? Terrifying. Yeah. <sighs> Exhausting. Glorious. 
I desperately need a shower. Yes, you do. I'm <laughs> tea. Do you want a coffee? Sure. What's going on, girl? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah. Poor thing. Stop fussing. <laughs> yeah, right. Too late. I'm fine. It's Alex. <laughs> he fusses. Plain and simple, you gotta slow down, take things easier. If you don't, yeah. you have palpitations and eventually your heart, it's... I'll get through it. Now don't say anything to Holden. Mm. He'll overreact. He's got enough on his mind already. Please. The captain needs to know what's going on with his crew. I ran the UNN's unknown against the wrecks, navs, and comlogs, and look what I found. Marco Inaros. How well do you know him? Only by reputation. Naomi said you knew what he did to her. Okay. She's one of the smartest people I've ever met. How did Marco Inaros get his hooks in her? Is that the baby daddy? This will need to be sanctioned. Talk to Dawes. I'll reach out to Fred Johnson. It'll take a big bounty to bring this one in. Does she win it? Comes to drummer Naomi. And finding out that it's that guy. I don't... I, I, I fear for Marcus. Or Marcos. Did Admiral Salda really say any of that? I don't know. We rarely spoke. He didn't much care for You were me. using me tonight. Just like you used him. Playing some game mm. that I don't understand. It was humiliating. I wasn't trying to embarrass you. I wanted to see I you. had no place at the table. To show the rest of the idiots in that room that you still have friends in high places. All they saw was Earth calling its lapdog to heal. <sighs> Come and work for me. Yes. 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 If they don't see how glorious you are, they don't deserve you. I don't need you to say Yes. Me. You don't owe me this. Fuck those people, Bobby. though. Good night, ma'am. <sighs> Poor thing. I get it though. She's not wrong. I need to talk. Oh. Hey. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm like a plague of locusts to welcome you to town, though. Well, that's what I called them. Tick tock, tick tock. That door won't stay open forever. Okay, stop. Wait, the door's open? Thingies. All right, I'm going with you. We're all going. Actually, no. uh, I'd feel a hell of a lot better if uh, someone stayed at the Rossi, watched our asses in case we need backup. You okay with that? Yeah. I'll look after you boys. Thank you, Alex. I'm keeping an eye on things, like Holden said. All right, well, mm -hmm. Holden and I are going on this Later. mission. And... Oh. Okay. Yo. He's bartering bullets? Glad to see you don't need those bullets. Well, I got plenty of lead and chemicals on the Rossi. It's easy to make more. Shit, I could be rich here. Mm-hmm. Sure, but there's nothing to buy. Mm. That was mine. Yep. What else you got? Oh. What you packing there, Amos? Let's find out, shall we? Meet some friends. It's light. I would go check that out, Bobby. Mm-hmm. Mm Good girl. Unless she gets caught again and something else happens. I don't want her to get in trouble. What is that? What the hell are you up to? It's just focus drugs. Okay, please, if they see you here, they'll kill me. I'll kill you myself. You're coming home with me right no, I can't. Now. They'll be here any minute. Right now! Whatever he was doing for you, it's over. David, baby, your aunt is becoming a problem. Look, I had no idea she was coming, I swear. Oh, fuck this! Okay! Oh! 
I love her. Oh yeah. Sorry, Lily. Oh. Hell yeah. Yeah, she's scary, but I love it. David's out for good. And next time he won't be a next time. Hurry up! Yeah, I'd be afraid of her too, David. Go. I have no idea what that was about, but good job, Bobby. Little blue glowy spots. I'm going back on series. <gasps> Jesus, water Miller. Theft. It's always a big problem. It's got a moral. I don't give a shit. Well, <laughs> you get these mushrooms growing down there. Just see? tell me what the fuck we're looking for. <laughs> I like hearing Miller do the Miller thing. I need that out of there. Okay. A root. Wait. Yeah. Dragging me out into the middle of the night to do your fucking gardening. Yeah. I'm just flipping switches, you know, seeing what lights come on, and right now that's a switch I can't flip. But what happens when he flips that switch? Jim, I don't know what that ghost is telling you, but the last time you stuck your hand in something for Miller, it put you in a coma. Mm-hmm. She's got a point. All right, don't coma this time, kid. I promise. Not but death. <laughs> I'd settle for just not having your voice in my head. One voice in his head. <sighs> well, that would be swell. What does that mean? You're... All the voices. thousand people died on arrows. Yeah. Try carrying that around in your skull. Memories. Old woman humming her wedding song. Little kid having a nightmare. People screaming for a death that never comes. I'm sorry. Oh. Good, good for you, Amos. I don't... Good for him. I felt like that might have been a while. <laughs> hey, Juro Nano! Where are you, Pampa? You. Fucking in as you come, I reckon. And when we need to flee, do the inners help us? <laughs> no. We make something again. Dig up some treasure. Here come the fucking inners who take it all away. Like you always do. Mm. I don't think this is gonna end well. You and me, we have one problem today. Somebody in this shithole killed 23 of my friends. Yeah, for Earther. They ain't over yet. Now that was a threat. I don't like him. Is it closing? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, get out of there, get out of there. Alex, get him out! Come on! Right. Said no coma, he didn't say you get to leave. Oh god. I mean, God, it's not gonna smash Holden, but is he gonna get caught in there? Oh god. Oh. Oh. Ah. Small spaces. Yuck. Whew. I am not super claustrophobic, but that was freaking me out, man. 
<laughs> the only hat I care about. I'm glad he got it back. Wait. It's still still moving? Oh, it turned on a light. It flipped a switch. That's right. What the fuck was that? Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, a lot happened in this episode. Um, I don't even know where to start. Probably the end and flipping the switch. And I don't know what that did. Obviously, it turned on a light of some sort. Um, it, it was like lightning. And then I thought maybe it was just sending a signal, but then it traveled. And then I was like, is it going to start raining? Like, that'd be great, because that would help that planet, right? Like, they'd be able to grow crops if they had rain. Um, but I, I don't I don't know if that's... <laughs> I don't really think that that's what that's going to do. Um, the fact that, like, Holden had to remove a root from inside of the structure, and it was kind of it said... They really wanted to press that the structure was there first, and then this organic world grew around it almost. Is that kind of what I'm hearing? Or maybe collided with something and then grew a biome somehow hmm very interesting um i i still like I, I thought at first those things might be part of a ring but now it like looks like it would be part of a bigger station um so i i'm i'm, I'm and and miller said something about files read files something about the clues and then like miller's like i thought like when it was all doing like the i don't know like the synapsy thing that it was miller that was talking to holden but it seems like miller is talking to the station or the proto molecule or something else because he's like you know, like i know i know i'm trying or whatever so it does seem like miller is really in there and then he talks about everyone on Eros and how he could hear all of them. Mm. Which means he could probably still hear Julie. <laughs> now that I think we're getting Julie, but the fact that like, like all of those people are still there, that's devastating. And they're waiting for an end that never comes. Man, that proto molecule is just bad news bears all the way around it's never good like sometimes you think it presents something good like a gateway to new systems that you know people can inhabit and and can possibly find new new lives to build there and again you know like like what the scientist had said about like the three biomes and like we don't know how they go together and like what it does to each one and you know i worry about naomi because obviously like cardiovascularly like her body is having a hard time adjusting to being on that planet and i wonder like what Ellis, 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 whatever. I wonder if the reaction to the proto molecule or whatever the structure is formed organic life because Holden said that it attacks organic life, but what if it can make organic life? Hmm. Who? And also the social dynamics that are taking place at that base camp with Murdy. I think that's his name. Murty? Murty? Murdery? <laughs> Murdery? Very murdery. Uh, you know, like just um, him, like thinking that a belter threatened him, which he did. But like, I feel like it's kind of baseless. Like they're not really going to attack that guy. And the fact that Amos kind of like, I don't, he has this thing where he stares at people where he's like intrigued by them. But now I get the feeling that like he's scanning them. Like, is it someone you protect? Is it someone who's good or is it someone who's bad? I really think he thinks this guy's bad. At least I do. I'm a very good judge of character. <laughs> like I definitely like, like when we met Lily on the first episode, I was just like, like, oh, she's cute. But I was like, mm, 
kind of getting a Diogo feel with, with David. And I wasn't too far off. Like something definitely is not like they're making those little tasty treats that make everyone tell the truth or makes you visually see the truth. So I, I don't, I don't know what she's doing. And there seems to be a bigger boss in charge and kind of warns Bobby like, oh, you're in big trouble now. At least I think she's talking to Bobby. She could have been talking to David, but I'm pretty sure it was Bobby. Yeah, I could tell that, that they were up to absolute no good. And I feel so bad for Bobby. Like, as nice as it was for her to sit next to Christian's husband and have that conversation with him, he was the only one that was welcoming to her. He was the only one that was kind to her and nice to her and wanted to talk to her. And I don't blame her for how she felt. I don't doubt that Christian wanted her there because she wanted to see her friend. But I also don't doubt that Christian used her for optics. Um, and I don't remember Souther saying that whole line of bullshit. And she even says, she's like, I don't know if he said it. But like, you know, her just even mentioning him kind of like made me kind of feel an ache because just definitely gone too soon. He deserved better. But she's not wrong that Christian was was essentially, you know, making her look bad in front of everybody and it was embarrassing her. That wasn't the point, And I get that. But Christian knew better and Christian offering her a job. I was like, yes, please take it. I want her off of Mars. She might do Mars good. Like she might be like really good for security on Mars because of like the fact that like she like saw two things that led her to believe something wasn't right. She probably should have turned in Lily when she saw Lily walk past her because she knew she shouldn't have been there. And especially what she learned happened, you know, like, like I would have been like, yo, this girl is hanging out with my nephew. Like go check and see what she's up to. Um, like I, I really feel like if she stayed on Mars, like that would be her job. She's really good at investigating. Um, and she's, she's, she's really good at figuring shit out. But I still want her to go and be with Christian. <laughs> and, you know, I really, um, I didn't really like this Christian that we got in front of these people because she's talking about this peace between Earth and Mars. And it felt like an act. It felt like a drama. It felt like she was giving a performance. And and I, I don't like that from her. I like when Christian is Christian, when she's giving the hard fucking truth. Um, and like, she was definitely bullshitting all those people. You know, she's very dramatic and there was flair with the way she was talking. And I don't like that from her. I don't like that at all. And I get that that's part of politicking and it sucks. But at the same time, like, I want my Christian to just be like, this shit is far from fucking over. We're sitting here today. There's peace today. Tomorrow, we don't know. Like, like the, the, the proto molecule still out there. The ring is an issue. You know, the pirates are an issue. Like, like, it's just like, like, like she needs to be Christian and be that real person. And the other um, UN person, uh, Gao, resigning, um, I don't know if that was because of Christian not doing anything like allowing Earth and, and stopping, you know, the blockades and, and letting people go through the rings and, and, and trying to find their own way. I don't know if it had something to do with that. I'm sure it does, but I don't know what else comes into play with that. Now, Christian having that moment with her <laughs> husband who's not her husband, who is her husband. It's Arjun, but it is not who I remember playing Arjun. And I liked that guy a lot. He made me cry. <laughs> he made me cry. This one was just as sweet. He was just as nice. And he sees the beauty and poetry in, in the world. And, you know, of course, Christian has all this information at her, her fingertips and she's seen some shit and she knows some things. And it's hard for her to see that beauty. And, and, and the juxtaposition between the two you know, I, I like that, like, he kind of brings her this beauty while she brings him a lot of this truth. And, and I don't know how much in depth she talks to him about it, but, um, I, I do really adore their relationship. It just, he feels new to me. <laughs> That's weird. I was excited that she's going to Mars though. Like, like look at Christian going into space again. Mm -hmm. Good for her. Good for her. I like it. You know what else I, I like? <laughs> which a lot of people will be like, I thought for sure you'd be jealous that you'd be upset. I like that Amos is getting it in. The boy needs to get some. Like, I, and then I get to see him shirtless. Oh my God, though. Woo! Lucky lady. Lucky lady. But, uh, 
<laughs> I, I it's normally been like the first episode of every season had space sex. And I don't think we got that in season three. I think we had to wait till the end of episode six and we got butts, <laughs> but we didn't get sex. And this one we had to wait till episode two, but like we got some, spe- it's not even space sex. It's new world sex. It's illus sex. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's going to be his, his, uh, his girl for, for this planet in particular. There might be a callback. Um, she might join the Rossi crew. It might be a one and done. Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> either way. Good for you, Amos. Good for you. Now, the person that wanted to go to the bar and wanted a drink and kind of wanted to have a date was Alex. And I was really hoping that he could go and be with that doctor. Like, she's cute. She's really cute. And Alex is looking particularly cute in this episode. That's weird, because I normally am just like, he's Alex. He's an old guy. But like, he didn't look like an old guy in this one. It might be the hat. The hat. That hat has magic on me somehow. It's a lucky hat. <laughs> but, you know, like, like she ends up being married, and that's that's uh, a shame. Drat. Darn. But, you know, that's her family. So, good for her. And hopefully Amos fixes her autoclave, because as someone who works in dentistry and I work with autoclaves all day long, alcohol ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> like, you, <laughs> you need to cook that, that shit at a high temperature, a hundred and set or 272 degrees for like 30 minutes that's that's dental instruments that'll kill the hiv and that'll kill the hat <laughs> and, and and various other things and i'm glad that like alex is kind of playing more of a role of like not just pilot you know like like he seems to be somebody who always has to be in the med bay like he's helping naomi and then he's going to the med bay at the the base camp and, you know, like he's he's helping hold in on the mission. And I'm glad Naomi didn't go because Naomi's heart, she, it probably wouldn't have taken it. But, you know, I, I like seeing Alex more involved. Um, that's nice. It's not just him shooting things, which I then went back from the first episode and watched it again. And it was a test run to make sure that their weapon would work. Um, so it was a simulation, but I was just like, what the hell was he shooting at? What did I miss? But yeah, it, it took me like, three times watching it before I was like, oh, okay. But because they had a live action shot into space, I was like, wait, why would they show that but then not really blow anything up? So that's what was confusing me. And now we have to kind of figure out this mystery of, you know, what destroyed the landing pad, uh, what brought down the ship, because I, I really thought that it was the Razor Locust and that is not the case or the proto Razor mechanical whatnot. Um, yeah. And the scientist and Naomi kind of going at each other. <laughs> like, Naomi really isn't going to let somebody talk down about belters or have snide remarks about belters uh, in front of her without saying her piece. I dig that about her. I dig that about her. I dig that about Bobby. I dig that about drummer. Like they all like they don't put up with shit and I love it. And speaking of drummer, we have drummer in Ashford and like the, the, the spacing, the spacing of, of all of those people on that ship. Holy shit. But that it's Naomi's, I don't know if it's her baby daddy. I'm assuming that's who it is, but like Marcos, I already feel like I'm not going to like Murdy. I keep, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Robert will let me know. <laughs> he was really upset about behemoth and behemoth. <laughs> no one died because I said it wrong. I'm just saying. <laughs> but like between Murdy and Marcos, I don't know who I'm going to dislike more. Murdy does have, he has no suaveness. Like there's nothing that I'm just like, oh, there's a redeeming quality. Like he's got charisma. Like he's just kind of a dick. And sometimes those guys are just those guys and they get the job done. But he, then he shoots this belter for, you know, a threat. It was a weak one. Very weak. But who, who's going to who's he going to get in trouble with? <laughs> like Amos just was like, interesting watching that guy. Um, But then this Marcos guy, when he comes into play, like if he could fool Naomi, 
I worry about my heart because he'll probably, he won't fool me. But I, I can feel that I will have conflicted feelings about him already. Mm. Okay, guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon and up to two episodes early. I keep telling people, you can travel into the future. It's not like that, but, like, you can see it before everyone else if you want. You can leave comments before everyone else, and everyone will be like, how was this a week ago? <laughs> Patreon. I don't know what this is, but... I'm having fun with it, regardless. <laughs> uh, there are also other full-length reactions on my Patreon. I have been slowly but surely adding those back to things that I have already done, uh, that have already been released on YouTube. Um, I recently did The Suicide Squad, James Gunn's version, um, and then I will be putting all of my Peacemaker full-length reactions on there. I wasn't aware that I was gonna be doing a Patreon at the time, so once those are uploaded, I'll just let you guys know. <laughs> I sing world apart once the magic starts badly I dance do you really want to dance do you really want to taste that badly I try to get through that opening trying to remember all the dance moves and it's really bad really bad so if you want to see me embarrass myself those will be up soon <laughs> but I'm also doing reactions to Vox Machina as well as House of the Dragon so if you like dragons this is the place to be. <laughs> but remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Uh, what? Who, who are we liking in this episode? Please don't ruin anything. But like, who are we liking? Do you guys like Murdy? Do, 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 do you guys like the doctor that Alex was hitting on? Uh, Lu Luciana? I think he called her Lucy or Luci or something. Uh, like, uh, what do you think of her? I really want to know the name of the girl that Amos was with. But I, I do I? Do I? <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. Mm -mm. Nope. But I might go back and rewatch that scene. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see ya. <laughs>